Hi everyone, I'm Stacey Holland and welcome to another episode of Real Health. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've watched last week's episode, you'll remember that we introduced a new feature on the show called the Real Health Medicine Cabinet. This is where the Real Health team and I try out various natural products um, on your behalf and we invite experts to come and give us more insight into these products, how they work, how we should be taking them. So first up, we're going to take a look at what the experts recommend for high acid levels and to give us some more insight is phyto therapist Vincent Tones. Um, I'm so happy to meet you because I see your product <laughs> everywhere. <lost>. Yes, finally. <laughs> and I had no idea that it's your own baby. Um, we'll go into the reasons um, around why you created it, Vincent. But we're discussing high acid levels and when they get too high, why it's dangerous for us. Right. Perhaps there is a little bit of confusion because, you know, we hear on the one hand that the body should be acidic in certain instances and in other cases it should be alkaline so perhaps maybe you should just start off by painting the picture of where the balance should actually be all right um, there's three different types of acids in the body mm -hmm. main main uh, forms the one is hydrochloric acid which is a good acid that's for digestion to improve it uh, second is lactic acid. We always hear about what this lactic acid is. It's runners, people exercising, breathing a lot. In other words, yeah. they're not getting that carbon dioxide out of the lungs. And that converts ultimately to a, a form of acid in the muscles, which causes cramping, yes. um, slow recovery times, and, and muscle spasms. Uh, uric acid is the, is, is the big problem child, if I can put it that way. Okay. It's due to our diets our lifestyles, stress, medications, um, and predominantly man-made foods. So wow. simplex carbohydrates, um, fizzy drinks and so forth, mm. they all convert to a, a high acidity type environment in the blood. It starts in the blood okay. um, and then works its way to the extremities. So in other words, this is the one that causes crystals in the joints and causes pain, arthritis, gout, fibromyalgia, yeah. and so forth. So, la so uric acid is uh, probably the cause of almost every ailment or, or a, uh, amplifies the ailment or makes it worse. So to give an example with uric acid, mm. uh, why I've got the demo in front here is that one fizzy drink a day, and I know a lot of us have a lot more than that. Yeah. Some of us have five, six glasses It's so far into me now because <laughs> I've completely weaned myself <laughs> off. I, I mean, I don't know when last I had a fizzy drink in the oh. last four or five years, but... Well, yeah, I mean, many people are still two liters in their absolutely. fridge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So one glass of a fizzy drink uh, literally tr uh, translates to uric acid in the joints and the blood, and it takes around about 36 glasses of water to actually flush one glass of fizzy drink out of the system completely. Wow. Um, and with the, the, why I put the celery there is it, it's an alkaline vegetable. Yeah. Um, wonderful. One of my favorites. Same, yeah. Uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's we can have a part hungry. later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of alkaline food in your diet yeah. drops it down to about 20 glasses rather than 36 glasses. Mm -hmm. And it just shows what that could cause. So fizzy drinks, chocolate sweets, cakes, all the man-made type products. Yes. I'm not saying change your life completely or cha change it to where you are having an absolutely depleted, boring life. Mm. But I'm just saying add more alkaline foods to your diet. Yeah, so so celery, be wise about be it. Wise about yeah. it. Yeah. What other lifestyle um, factors are contributing to high acid levels and uric acid um, particularly? Stress. Okay. Um, every time you have an, an anxious or a traumatic experience, um, stress spikes uric acid production. Um, Medications, prescription medications also yeah. does the same. Yeah. So um, it's literally everything that, that we have implemented to our, or done to ourselves in society, which is causing uric acid to spike. So convenience foods, takeaways, fast foods, going for a quick, yeah. quick fix compared to having a little bit of a tuna salad or something as an alternative. Yeah we're going for a fast lifestyle okay. and, and that's what's causing our uric acid levels to Are spike. we seeing this happening in, in, in children and teenagers as well? Well, ADD is amplified by uric acid. Wow. Um, almost memory and concentration reduction, B vitamin reduction sure. is due to uric acid. Then so it's no coincidence that we're starting to see the rise in an in increase in Alzheimer's and dementia. Yes, exactly, and, yeah. exactly. Okay. and that's why. So uric acid, to give an example, if your blood if your blood uric acid levels go up, it creates an acidic environment. Uh, for one, your pancreas now has to overwork to produce insulin. Insulin neutralizes uric acid. So your body actually produces insulin 
to drop your uric acid levels wow. to the point where it can't cope anymore and that's where diabetes sets yeah, in. Because that would end up with insulin resistance then. That's yeah. ex okay. exactly that. So diabetics will have that. All right, so you created a product to help people that have um, high uric acid levels yes. and specifically to help your wife with um, carpal, carpal tunnel. tunnel. Yes. yes. Yeah. Carpal tunnel is basically a uric acid building up in the wrist. Okay. To a point where the crystals actually squash the nerves within the wrist and then those nerves you start feeling numbness pins mm. and needles in the fingers when in actual fact it's in the wrist okay so that's what this product is about okay so this is a product life tones i've seen it everywhere so tell us um how you take it what's in here that makes it so amazing besides giving away your proprietary <laughs> secrets <laughs> all right no, it's got it's got six brilliant herbs in it okay. uh, three of the herbs are very alkaline um they're actually celery seeds it's a concentrated okay. extract okay of your whole celery plant and very alkaline so it breaks down the uric acid crystals mm -hmm. Um, it's got three anti-inflammatory type herbs, in other words, pain reducing and anti-inflammatory. Um, the other two herbs are to assist the celery to break down uric acid. So in, in essence, if uric acid builds up in a joint, in your wrist, fingers, toes, Kay. whether it's gout, whether it doesn't matter, out of all the arthritis forms, mm. those acid uh, particles, they start forming little crystals in the joints mm. which start cutting away at the cartilage creating joint damage okay so what this okay. is what this is for is to to actually melt that uric acid down flush it out the kidney and bladder and out your system which means that you can actually your body can start self-healing and self um, repairing okay because i was going to ask you about the link between uric acid and inflammation so obviously it's you know it's this is anti-inflammatory absolutely yes. those okay. sharp little crystals are you, yeah, if you feel just, arthritis yeah. it is anal gout yeah. oh yeah I've been through it. I okay, know. and how do you recommend people take it? And and specifically, maybe the teenagers or the young ones, can parents give it to them? Absolutely, just okay. halve the dose. Um, in other words, just going at 15 drops or half okay. a teaspoon. Okay, and it's sugar-free, by the way. Sugar-free, uh, my suggestion, a teaspoon. Just take it, fill the, fill the teaspoon, pop it into half a glass of water. Okay. If you want to, the more water, the more you flush the system, yes. so that uh, a full glass is better. And then take it before bed because your uric acid levels build up the most while you're sleeping. Okay. And then take another dose in the morning. Okay. And then you don't have to go to work with it. Yeah. And that'll help break yeah. down all that all the aches and pains. And just a quick one, uh, a test. Yes. If you squeeze your earlobe. Okay, I've got earrings. Quite earlobe. hard. Yeah. Um, that's that's. A, a, if it feels a little painful, that means uric acid levels are high. Okay. And ah. if you squeeze your joints as well, if you ever feel a little, oh, hang on, or if you pick up a plastic bag and you suddenly feel this sharp pain yes. in your elbow or yes. wrist, that means your uric acid levels are too high. Oh, that's a nice easy test so for everyone at home. And you can get it pretty much everywhere, right? Everywhere. Yeah. Just came, clicks, all You've the done retail a great stores. Job with that. All okay. the retail stores. Fantastic. So, you know, uric acid is causing all our problems. Mm. So mm. Uh, when I say all our problems, from deep vein thrombosis, right through to cholesterol, right through to menopause, it actually antagonizes hormones. Okay. So if you do get hot flushes, yes. you're gonna get more hot flushes Jeez, if your uric okay. acid levels are high. Okay. Cancer run, runs rampant with uric Fibromyalgia, acid. Fibromyalgia, which has become Fibromyalgia. a buzz term nowadays and people don't understand it. It's an autoimmune disorder. In other words, um, uric acid antagonizes an autoimmunity where your white blood cells start attacking themselves. Mm and it forms in the muscles. That's where the aches and pains form, form. and uric acid is the antagonist. It okay. actually just makes it worse. Well, Vincent Thank Tones you. of Life <laughs> Tones, I'm really glad to have it's met you. Thank you for bringing your product Thank in. You, um, and yeah, we've placed it in our Real Health Medicine it's Cabinet. Quite, I'm, <laughs> I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know that talking too much may lead to a condition called vocal fatigue syndrome? Mourn this when we come back. <laughs>